It's the realist. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your guy Realistic and welcome to my tutorial vault. That's right, I'm gonna start grabbing some of my most classic tutorials over the years out of the vault and re-releasing them. That way y'all can enjoy, get your mixing and mastering skills back up. So if you find any of the information useful, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. That way this keeps showing up in your feed and sit back and enjoy the content. So we're gonna be talking about distorting your master channel and how to properly do this technique. So if you just want to get in and get out with the information real quick without hearing all the details, I'll show you that real quick. And so all I'm going to do here is I'm going to throw on some type of distortion. You can use stock plugins for this. And for the longest time, I did use stock plugins until I could afford other plugins. So later in the video, I'm going to get into some more advanced plugins. But for this part, I'll just show you what I'm talking about. Just grab any type of distortion. Grab your favorite distortion. Um, stock, like I said, stock plugins are great. Every DAW is going to have this. Also, some other ones that are worth noting are like uh, Decapitator, Soft Tube, uh, the BX Saturators. All of those are, are really good plugins to use for this. Later on, I'm going to get into something more advanced, though. All right, so I'm going to hit play, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase it as we're listening to it so you can hear. I'm talking about band like elastic I'm tripping on life like it's acid I told her her it was classic She's flying across the Atlantic With just a couple of bandits I'm paying the glove for the damage Okay, so you could hear instantly the changes that were made. When we added that distortion, our drums had more smack to them, the vocals had more energy to them, and the overall loudness increased, and we also had a little bit more sparkle on the top end. So all of this is just adding a lot more energy to it, and it's also a really good way to make your tracks seem louder than they really are. Now the key to it is being subtle. You'll notice that I, I didn't get too crazy with it, I just brought it up by 0 0.2, and when you start to get too crazy with it, you'll start to get things where you're getting uh, crackling, hissing. You're going to start to destroy the overall mix and, and lower the quality. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Passive. I'm talking about like elastic. I'm tripping on life like it's acid. I told her her was classic. She's flying across. So you can hear that that's just too much. You don't want to go too crazy with it. And point two, that doesn't seem like a lot. I mean, I'm barely moving the knob, but you can hear what a huge difference that made. Well, let me just show you again. Passive, I'm talking about like elastic. I'm tripping on life like it's acid. I told her her was classic. She's flying across the Atlantic. That point two just makes a instant change. All right, so that's how you do that technique. So if you want to hear more about how the whole details are worked, let's let's go through that right now. And I'm actually going to use a little bit more advanced of a plugin here. And I really like. There's two of them that I like. I like Ozone and I like Saturn. And the reason why I like Ozone and I like Saturn for this is because these let me do two things. They let me do multi-band saturation and mid-side saturation. So I'm going to start out here with Ozone and then at the end I'll probably show you a couple little things with Saturn just in case you're using Saturn and you know how to uh, and you want to see how you can do stuff with that. So what I want to start out with here is we're going to go over Ozone 9. And why I suggest if you can use a saturator that allows you to do multiband and mid side is we'll be able to control the different frequency spectrums. We'll be able to control them differently with the amount of distortion, the type of distortion that we do, and the mix, the overall mix that we do. And we'll be able to do that for both mid and side. And so that's why I really recommend doing it uh, with multi-band and mid-side saturation. And another thing that I recommend is to put your mix at around 50%. You know, everybody has a different process, but over the years, I found this is a really effective one for two reasons. One, it kind of gives you a little bit of a safety net for your master, so you're not just distorting the, the entire thing and causing some issues. And also, two, it lets you get a little bit more aggressive here with the amount. Because in a sense, you're doing parallel distortion on your master channel when you do that. So I just set all my mixes to 50%, at least all the ones that I'm going to be using for this process. All right, and then let's focus on the bands that we want to do here. So in the low end, I'm going to focus on the sub frequencies. So I usually go 0 to about 100, somewhere around there. 
Uh, and that way we can control just the, the low end a little bit differently and we can be a little bit more cautious about that area. And then we got this mid range here and this is where we have a lot of the heart and emotion and the feel of the song. So, you know, about a hundred to one K is usually that area. And then this next area that I like to do is one K to 10 K. And this is going to give us a lot of that, uh, that presence and a lot of that tonal control right there. And then up top here, this is where we're going to get a lot of sparkle and clarity. So 10 K and above. And so that those are the ranges that I choose. So let's start right here with mid. If you're using ozone and you don't know how to get there, you just go where the stereo drop down menu is, and then you're just going to go to mid right there, mid side. And now allow you to uh, control the mids and the sides differently. You'll be able to distort those uh, separately, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and start with the low end. Now you could choose different types of distortion and I recommend choosing the distortion to taste and it might not be the same on every track. But let's go ahead and go through some. What I do recommend for the low end though is I recommend something that's a little bit more gentle and softer like maybe an analog or a tape sound instead of something that's more um, harsh like like a tube or something like a, a driving distortion. I might want to avoid that especially for the low end because we don't want to uh, excite the low end too much where we start to get distortion and clipping and crackling down there all right so let's go ahead and check that out and you'll be able to hear what i'll do is i'll increase and we'll start with analog passive i'm talking about like elastic i'm tripping on life like it's acid i told her her was classic she's flying across the atlantic we're just a couple of bandits i'm paying the club for the damage thinking i might be a savage Okay, so you hear I went in and out there, and you could hear that there was definitely a little bit more smack down in the, the kick drum and a little bit more, you know, power in the low end there. And I increased this one by five. It might be different uh, depending on what track that you are, so it's not always going to be the same. I've had tracks where, you know, the low end is just pumping the entire time so I got to be a little bit more subtle like maybe one or so and I've had ones where the low end is really not having it so I, I increase it by nine this one you know the the low end and the kick drum there it's mixed pretty good so I got this just at five just to kind of help it out keep in mind we're at 50 percent so you know it, it, um, it it's not driving all the way through another thing too I want to point out that's really cool about this plug-in is I can bypass the individual bands or I can bypass it as a whole so it's really nice to be able to bypass the individual bands as well to see what they're doing all right and then we're gonna flip over here to our mid-range here again i want to be a little bit more subtle in this area and this is also an area where i generally don't want to increase too much because what's uh this may be where the heart and the soul is but this can also cause a lot of muddiness if we overdo it so that's why i want to be cautious there passive i'm talking about like elastic i'm tripping on life like it's acid i told her her was class She's flying across the Atlantic We're just a couple of bandits I'm paying the club for the damage Thinking I might be a savage so I went in and out there and I don't know if you could tell but there's just a little bit of a, a bump that just pushes things a little bit more forward and we just have an overall better feel in that area and again I, I chose to be a little bit more subtle I chose a little bit more subtle of a distortion now we're going to get into some areas where we can get a little bit more of an aggressive distortion so we'll choose this tape area again this is where some of that tonal and that presence is that I want to be able to bump up a little bit Passive, I'm talking about like elastic. I'm tripping on life like it's acid. I told her her was classic. She's flying across the Atlantic. We're just a couple of bandits. I'm paying the glove for the damage. Thinking I might be a savage. I'm feeling passive. I'm talking about. So right there, when I increased that, you can hear that the vocal kind of pushed through a little bit more. Also, the clap had a little bit more impact to it. I had it originally driven up a little bit more, but I was noticing that there was a little bit of harsh resonance going on when I did that, so I backed off a little bit. So now let's move over here to our upper our high frequency here and then we'll switch to sides at the end here passive i'm talking about like elastic i'm tripping on life like it's acid i told her her was classic she's flying across the atlantic we're just a couple of bandits i'm paying the glove for the damage thinking i might be a savage 
So going in and out there, you can hear that things got a little bit more uh, better with the sparkle and the clarity. And a lot of things that was going on was like the, the hi-hats had a little bit more energy to them. All right. Now, as far as where I'll really get aggressive is the sides here, because what I'm trying to do with these sides is I'm trying to make the excitement feel wider. And so that's what's really cool be, uh, about being able to excite the sides separately. Now, I don't usually focus on these lower bands too much here. I usually just focus on our uh, upper mid range and our high frequencies here when I'm focusing on the sides, because I'm really trying to excite a lot of that energy going on in the upper area. So it appears wider and again i have some more aggressive distortions on this upper area and especially since it's the sides we can get a little bit more aggressive passive i'm talking about like elastic i'm tripping on life like it's acid i told her her was classic she's flying across the atlantic we're just a couple of bandits i'm paying the glove for the damage thinking i might be a savage all right and then let's go ahead and increase the uh the upper area and this is a part two was really fun to, to go a little bit overboard passive i'm talking about like elastic i'm tripping on life like it's acid i told her her was classic she's flying across the atlantic we're just a couple of bandits i'm paying the glove for the day so you can hear things got a little bit wider and a little bit more energy there. Let's go ahead too and we'll flip to a different part of the song. That way we don't get burnt out on the same lyrics being over and over again. But let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, uh, check out what uh, our sides here sound like in and out, which is really cool. Is not only can we control the individual and the overall, but we can also control the bypass of the sides and the mids. So it's pretty cool. Dangerous. Hopping a whip, she know what my name is She wanna get some Life is a blessing, I shout out my angels Look at my neck, this shit is our dangerous Hopping a whip, she know what my so just going in and out there, you can hear just on the sides that things did seem to get a little bit bigger and wider when we came in and out of the side. So it's really cool. Let's go ahead and bypass the song, uh, the exciter as a whole, so you can really hear what we just did there. Dangerous. I'm on a I've been a whip, she know what my name is. She wanna get some. Life is a blessing, I shout out my angels. I find it, I come. Look at my neck, this shit is outrageous. Hopping a whip, she know what my name is She wanna get some Life is a blessing, I shout out my angels Look at my neck, this shit is outrageous so again, you can hear right there when we came in and out there, uh, the kick drum got more of a smack to it. The clap had more of an impact. The vocals were pushed up a little bit more and had more energy. The overall wideness got bigger. The clarity and sparkle had more energy to it. The mid range had a little bit more motion and then just overall the track got louder. So it's really a, a technique that I, I really recommend to do, especially if you can do this mid range, this mid side and this multi-band because it lets you control things uh, separately gives you a lot more control now let me show you real quick uh, if you are using Saturn I'll just show you kind of how to get to there because sometimes it's a little bit of a workaround so you come up here and you can choose your your bands up here right and so you just hit this this plus sign and then you can just move your bands over like this you just grab the the little areas here and then you can move them so that's really cool right there. And then as far as what you want to do uh, by getting mid side, you just want to come down to channel mode and then you want to flip this over to mid side. And now what you can do here is you see that we have our our drive lets us choose between mid and side. So, you know, you might want to do your low end here, mid, and then you might want to come up here and do some side action uh, in these areas. The one thing that, that I do like about uh, Ozone better than I do Saturn is you notice that I got to choose the bands if I want them to be mid or side versus on Ozone, I can flip over and I can control the the highs I can control the the mid and the side separately but for this it, it seems like I gotta choose if I want this high to be either mid side or, or stereo so that's that's the one downfall maybe I guess a way that you could correct it is you could use two cases of Saturn if you wanted to do that you know but uh, that's you know again that's how you can uh, 
activate the the mid side here and another thing too is i already had it set up but i had switched the the mix to be at about 50 percent, and you can switch them on on each band what you want them to be and then each band you can choose if you want it to be a different distortion so down here might do a more of a gentle saturation and up here we might do something a little bit more aggressive like maybe a um clean tape we got this area that we're gonna do this upper area where it's just sides we might want to do something a little bit more like a smooth amp or something like that and then we can control our drive a little bit here too which is really nice to be able to control all of that separately and again this part you know i'm gonna be between 20 30 percent you know maybe 50 percent if, if i really need to push something like that you know uh this mid area we're probably gonna do something a little bit more uh, laid back and chill so just again keep that in mind for the different areas if you want it to be aggressive or not this area might same thing all right so let's go ahead and give this a listen bypass in and out dangerous i'm on a i've been a whip she know what my name is she wanna get some life is a blessing i shot on my angels look at my neck this is outrageous so again, just a little bit more energy and power there. And then the last thing I'll just show you here is just some other options if you don't have the multi-band action going on here and you're just using some ones that are just right down the middle. Again, you want to stick between, you know, one and two. You don't want to go too crazy with it. So here's an option right here. Dangerous. I'm on a I've been a whip, she know what my name is. She wanna get some. Life is a blessing, I shot on my angels. Look at my neck, this is our right. So just a, a little subtle change right there allows us to get more uh, energy and stuff like that. So any type of plug-in that, that you have that doesn't let you do multi-band or, or mid-side, you know, just again, just go to this drive knob and just turn it up by one or two and, and that should be more than fine. But yeah, that's uh, some tricks right there when it comes to exciting your master channel. I think this will definitely help you get more power, smack, and just overall loudness, overall clarity and sparkle to it. And I think this is really a game changer for your masters if you're not already using it. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this tutorial. If you found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe because it does help the channel grow. When you like a video, it tells YouTube that you liked it and maybe other people will like it as well. And also be sure to check out my online mixing and mastering courses, the art of beat mixing, the art of vocal mixing, and the art of mastering all available now. And if this video was helpful and you're looking for other videos, you can watch a video here, here, and here. All right, until next time, y'all.